Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how you can upload your customer or your email data inside the Google ad. In Google, we call it a customer match. Customer match is like your online or your offline customer data, which you upload inside the Google ad. And then Google will see how many people it can reach with the help of that customer list. It is a great way to retarget people who have interacted with your business. Like for example, if they have given you any email data or if they have purchased with you and then they have have an account on your website like if they have check out with their email with their name and address so you can use those data and put inside the customer match list and then upload to the google and then you can target those people with your ad okay but there is a one caveat around that you must have the permission to advertise or retarget those people so you can sort out the people who have subscribed to your customer or your promotion list or your or the people who wants to hear from you also google have also announced that they are phasing out from cooking tracking so after the iphone 14 privacy update there is a lot of shift happening between a customer match and privacy thing so i think this is a big move from the google so where you can upload your customer list and then you can target those people with your ad so so if you have a first party customer data you can make your customer match list inside the google ad and then you can target those people also it will make a look like audience inside your customer match list for example if you have run your social media marketing like uh, facebook they have the option of look like audience you tell facebook that okay i have a, this kind of customer and i want to make a look like audience who share the same behavior as per my audience so google ai does the same thing once you give them the list they will target those people plus they will see what kind of other people who share the same kind of uh, attribute and then they can target those people as well so with that way your ad become more effective and then you have a less money to spend and your conversion rate goes up so we're gonna find out how we gonna do this thing inside google ad and then i will show you how to do that okay the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on tools and setting up here and then you click on the audience manager and then you will be land up here in the audience section okay and then what are you gonna do here is click on the segments and then on this plus sign and then you're gonna come up here in your customer list so here you're gonna give the name of your audience let's say i'm um, just for tutorial purpose abc audience and then there is a data type so if depending on what sort of data you have so upload emails phones and their address okay so you can use this option so google provide a specific template regarding how you can upload your list so you have to make sure that all of the data you are putting up inside a google they follow a same pattern so what you have to do you have to download this csv file which is here okay and once you download it and then you can export to your to your google drive account so once you have import that csv file in your google sheet so it will give you all the instruction in here how you can do that one but the main thing is what we're gonna do is we if you want to read out this one you can do that but we're gonna delete this one okay once you have deleted all the information so you what you have to do you have to put the data according to this uh, this uh, sheet type so first you have to put up the email then if you have a first name then last name and your country code so if you are in australia then au if you are in usa then us and then zip code which is like if you have a postal code or something like that if they you have that information if you have it just put in here so this is this is a repeating the information we're going to delete that one as well so once you have fill up all those information like your email first name last name country and the zip code then you have to come up here in file and then download as a csv because in the google inside the google ad it are only gonna take a csv file so we're gonna do that make a csv file so we're gonna go up here so once you have downloaded your csv file what you have to do is come up here browse and then then upload your customer list okay here okay so once you have do that one then you have to see here there is a 
some information regarding the the privacy thing with the google customer match policy so all it's saying is you must have the permission to uh, the whatever the list you are uploading to the google ad so you have a permission to advertise to them or they have provided to you it's not like that you have bought the data and then put up in here so it's just like so once you agree with all this one just click on that one and then there is a no expiry so if for example if if you don't want to use that audience for a certain period of time then you can put it up the days but in this case we i always recommend uh, no expiry okay description you can describe what what sort of data you have uploaded to the google okay for example if you have a larger audience where you have a segment like by men by women and then you can specify it here this is the list for 18 to 26 women who are interested in things so it's on the only thing up here so you can you can know that if you are adding a multiple audience then you can easily see what sort of list this is and after that once you have done it just save and continue okay so after that if everything goes all right then it will say you have successfully created a new customer list abc audience test and then it will see it will come up in your segment thing which i will show you in a minute so there is a few thing which you have to in your mind you must have a at least thousand people list so if it's less than thousand you wouldn't be able to target that audience so you have to make sure that you are putting at least thousand and plus there is another thing is your account does not violate any policy if you want to use this segment or this customer match list in your google ad account plus your account has spent at least fifty thousand dollar in in total in your uh, in your account lifetime so if you haven't spent a fifty thousand in total in your account then you wouldn't be able to use that feature so you can come up here in a segment and then you can see that this is the audience we have which we just made so it's populating and then it will tell you if it's too small to serve and stuff like that or you can see you can check up that audience and all of this it, it will show you what is the availability of this audience how many people they are charging through the search with the youtube the display and the google so it this will show everything once you have um the minimum amount which is a thousand email list inside in this inside this list and plus once you are targeting those list it will tell you which campaign it in you are targeting so it's it become quite handy in that one from my personal point of view i think it's a really really helpful feature from google which because if you already have a customer list inside your own in your offline conversion or in your online conversion you can use that list and make your marketing more effective and plus when you are targeting those people because they already have interacted with your business so there is a higher chances that they people those people can interact with your business more easily so you are not you are not targeting a cold audience plus you can make a special offer on, to this kind of people or this kind of audience so there is a more chances that your ad gonna be clicked more so it can help in, in your remarketing retargeting and you can promote all of other product which you might want to sell to this audience so i think it will be really really helpful for you so if you find the value out of it or if you want to give it a go please try and see how this can help in your google ads and that's it from my side and i will see you in the next video thank you very much